What am I going to tell my children? God willing, I have them someday. Um, when when they grow up, or even my grandchildren, and they ask me about these, you know, these truly historical times we're living in, uh, and I felt that <clears throat> the only um, dignified response would be that yes, I was doing my part. I was I was fighting alongside with everyone else. <coughs> Just seeing all the people and women and children and, and the guys and men and stuff all injured and seeing how little training and knowledge they had to, to be able to help. So I thought some of the knowledge that I've been trained in, bring it out here and we've helped set up field hospitals. So this here is an unexploded Smerch missile uh, in a children's playground, which speaks both to the technological advancements of the Russian army and who they're fighting with. It is getting a lot tougher out here the longer it goes on. It is definitely tiring. Um, sleep patterns are broken from shelling, um, so they shelled at one, two, and four o'clock in the morning yesterday, so that's obviously breaking our sleep routine up, but we've got to stay positive. Just because you're here as a medic, as a non-combatant, I'm pretty sure they, they wouldn't see it like that, so it is a massive risk. Um, the Russian front line is literally a kilometre away from where we are now, so... For every, every one of our boys that's killed, we have to avenge them. Amongst those uh, with whom I've spoken, it only galvanizes us more. You have to keep in mind that, yes, this is a, a long-standing conflict here in, in Ukraine uh, against uh, Russia, uh, but the way things are going right now, Ukraine really is, uh, you know, the, the shield of Europe. Yeah. 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 Yeah.